Hi there, I'm Tyler Hicks, brand ambassador for Old Town Canoe and Kayak. And today I wanna to talk to you about carts. Now carts are probably one of the most important pieces of equipment for moving your canoe or kayak to the water from your launch vehicle and back at the end of the day. Now the reason these carts are so important is that their overall aim is to reduce fatigue on you when moving your watercraft back and forth from the launch point to your launch vehicle, but also they can help prevent damage to your watercraft when transporting it. They also can reduce possibilities of injuries to you from strain. And more importantly, uh, they can also help reduce conflict at boat ramps, especially busy boat ramps where unloading and loading your kayak or canoe at the ramp uh, would take up valuable space and time because uh, oftentimes it takes us a little bit longer to get prepped um, at the beginning of the day and get off the water at the end of the day. And by having a cart, that will allow you to go down, launch your watercraft very quickly and not gobble up too much space at the boat ramp. Or alternatively, it'll give you access to unimproved launches where you won't have any possibilities of conflict with other users. Now, carts come in many different shapes and sizes, and they reflect the different shapes and sizes of watercraft that are out there on the market. But you'll see two primary designs. One is this bunk style, which works extremely well with the pontoon style holes of the sit on top kayaks in Old Town's Sportsman's lineup. The other is gonna be a saddle style. It will work very well with canoes and also with sit inside kayaks. Now, there are two other commonly encountered cart systems out on the market. One is a scupper cart, which utilizes the self-draining holes the scuppers on sit on top kayaks by locking up inside there and the other is landing gear which is a permanently mounted uh, wheel system which typically utilizes some sort of track system that's attached to the kayak however because old town canoe and kayak does not reinforce their scupper holes and because of the weight of these kayaks and for the same reason with the landing gear they do not recommend using these because they potentially can result in damage to your kayak now one thing you really do need to consider is the weight capacity of your cart now you need to take into account the amount of gear you might have loaded in your watercraft while you're transporting on this cart so don't just look at the weight of the kayak or canoe itself, but think about all that gear you're gonna have loaded in there. Nearly all the major manufacturers are gonna have some sort of adjustable distance on their bunks or saddles to make it easier to conform to the whole shape of your kayak or canoe. So make sure when you're looking at investing in a cart that it has some sort of ability to adjust so that you'll have a better opportunity to create a stable platform for your watercraft to settle into. Besides thinking about the weight and shape of your watercraft, you also have to think about the terrain that you're gonna be transporting it across. Now the wheels on your kayak carts will be made out of primarily two materials. And one is this really popular no flat tires, which are typically made out of plastic or may have a little bit of rubber incorporated into them. And these are really great for hard, compact surfaces. So looking at concrete, asphalt, compacted gravel, and grass, things like that. Whereas if you're gonna be on really soft surfaces like sand, loose gravel, or loose dirt, then these inflatable balloon style tires are actually a really good choice. They're gonna make it far easier for you to transport your watercraft across those substrates. Oftentimes people will ask, well, which one should I go with if I only occasionally beach launch? And I always say, go with the balloon because you can always use the balloon on concrete surfaces. Whereas these no flat tires don't work very well on sand ever. Now, one of the advantages of these bunk style uh, carts is that they typically have an adjustable height setting. And this comes in handy when transitioning from hard tires to balloon tires because balloon tires have a significantly greater diameter. And because of that, without that adjustability, you might get uh, some rubbing on the bottom of your watercraft. But with that adjustability, that usually takes care of that problem for most watercraft. And nearly every cart is going to come with some sort of strap system to help you secure your watercraft to your cart when moving over uneven terrain. Now I'm going to take a moment to give you some tips on how to set up your cart for your watercraft. And I'm going to show you some examples of how I load and unload my kayak, especially when it's loaded down with a lot of gear. And finally, I'm going to take a few moments to discuss placement of your kayak cart and ways to reduce fatigue on you when moving your watercraft to and from your launch vehicle. Now, the first thing you need to do is fit your cart to your watercraft. And many cart systems have a very simple and easy way to adjust the bunks, but it will vary by manufacturer. On this Malone cart, there's just a little knob here that reduces tension on these bunks and allows them to slide back and forth. So on this Salty 120 PDL, I'm going to lock these bunks in and then try and balance the cart 
so that I have about equal distance on each side. And then all I gotta do is tighten this up and I'm good to go. Now placement of your cart is absolutely critical. You want the bulk of the weight to be riding on the cart itself. That way it reduces the amount of energy you have to use when transporting your watercraft. Conveniently, the best spot or the fulcrum point on most modern fishing kayaks is going to be approximately underneath the seat. Now this will depend on what type of gear you have in your kayak or canoe and how you have that weight and gear distributed within your watercraft. But you'll have to tinker around with this a bit, but underneath the seat is a really good place to start. Now you can load your watercraft onto your cart either from the bow or stern, depending on what works best for you and the weight and design of your watercraft. But I'm gonna show you both examples today. So we're gonna start with uh, from the stern. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm using the cart appropriately. Some of them are symmetrical, some of them are asymmetrical like this one. And I'm gonna turn it around and line it up with where I want it to be, approximately the seat. And I'm gonna point the cart slightly away from the stern. Then I'm gonna come back here and lift up. And there we go. Then I can just use the strap system to secure the kayak to the cart. Now, alternatively, if I wanna load from the bow, I'm just gonna flip this around and do the opposite and have this pointing slightly away from the bow. And there we go. Similarly, I would then strap it and I can move my watercraft to the launch. So even with this 85 pound kayak with a 20 pound drive on it, I have no problem moving this kayak back and forth. And similarly, this 125 pound Autopilot 120 is really not that much work to move. Now, one of the most common questions I get is how do I get a fully loaded heavy fishing kayak like this Autopilot 120 onto the cart at the end of the day. Oftentimes I'm gonna have more than 100 pounds of gear in there. And for this process, I use a very simple technique, which is I essentially float the kayak out into deep enough water that I can then either use my hands or a lot of times I will just use my feet, especially in cold water. And I will float the kayak out and easily lift it onto the cart because I'm just lifting it a few inches and then position the cart and the bunk system up underneath the kayak until it locks in just using my feet and then I'm able to pull it out. And oftentimes because these carts have a little bit of buoyancy because of their tires and design, they will float a little bit up, lock in, and then once you move it up, the weight of the kayak itself will compress the cart and hold it in position as you pull it back up. But you can also reach down and grab the straps and secure it that way if you're having issues with the cart sliding back and forth as you bring it out of the water. So as you can see, these carts are a critical piece of equipment to getting you and your watercraft on and off the water. They can help reduce fatigue and potentially injury to yourself. They protect your investment by reducing opportunities for damage to your watercraft. And they also help to reduce opportunities for conflict to arise between you and other users if you're spending too much time at the boat ramp. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. All right guys, we'll see you next time out on the water or here in the yard.